Um, let's go ahead and walk through how to create a Gizmo account because a lot of students seem to be having a problem with this. I want to apologize because I actually didn't mean to. I didn't delete your account. Um, my account got deleted, so I had to create a new teacher account. So the way Gizmo works is we have to pay for it. It's not free. So the district is in charge of my Gizmo account. So I think that they deleted it. But whatever, it's fine. We can create a new account. Um, and if you're having problems with that, it's okay. Um, let me walk you through how to do it. So here is the gizmo homepage. so we're going to go to explorelearning.com okay and then click enroll log in so if you have a username and password that pop up great just go ahead and use that um, but if you don't let's go ahead and click um, enter class code all of you need to enter a class code even if you already create have an account because um, again my account got deleted so you need to create a new account so go ahead and go to this document all the class codes are on there um, go ahead and copy and paste and then we're going to click enroll in a class so for those of you that know your username and password or it's already popped up you can just go ahead and enter it here saying that you already have an account and then add my new um, add my new class code if not and you have to create an account that's totally fine just go ahead and click um, first name last name we're going to create an account for my dad because apparently my macbook like that um so you don't have to put your username just first and last name and then uh you don't have to put your email address i mean and then your username and then password and then confirm your password this information right here if you do not remember it um just write it down if you think you can't remember it even if you think maybe that you can just write it down somewhere put it on a google doc put it on your phone so that way you can access google i um, mean gizmo jeez i can't talk today okay and then click submit and you should be good to go and you'll be able to log in um, to the gizmo which will look like this so it's called chemical equations i'm so sorry i gave you the wrong one at first but i fixed it thanks johanna you really helped me out there okay and then when you put the reactants in here and then the product so it's going to have you type it in so let's say it's h20 h2 not h20 h2o okay plus maybe let's say o2 and then and then we'll do our products okay so um because it needs to be bound so it'll kind of show you what that looks like and then you can do visual you can do numerical you can do a histogram you can do an atom count molar mass visual and again um just kind of play around with it um follow the gizmo that is on um this worksheet from Google Classroom. Okay, well, I hope that that helps you guys out a little bit. Um, just let me know if you have any more questions. So thanks for participating, and I appreciate